hi guys welcome to PC Tips Pro. in this video today I'm gonna show you how you can download and uh, install configure your Norton security in your MacBook Air or it's if it's MacBook Pro also so this uh, this method will be applicable for all of the operating system uh, in the Mac that means even if you have the Mac Big Sur or Mac Sierra you can use this method to activate the Norton security in your laptop now let's get started here guys so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please go ahead and do subscribe the channel and share my video to your friends also now in order to get activated your Norton security in the laptop make sure you have the subscription of Norton that means you have purchased the Norton security either from the store or online and you have the 25 digit product key from the Norton <clears throat> and if you have that just simply come online log into the computer open your browser either the Safari or the Google Chrome or anyone open the browser and in the browser type in there Norton.com and forward slash setup so as you can see clearly here I have written down in the address bar make sure guide you need to type this address uh, in the address bar not in the search bar because if you will type norton.com forward slash setup in the search bar then you might get different you know the third party websites which pretend to be the Microsoft I mean the uh, Norton so if you type this norton.com forward slash setup directly in the address bar it will open the website directly so after entering the website I will enter the return key and now as you can see I'm in the website here and it's giving an option to enter the product key or sign in so I will click on this sign in option because I already have an account with Norton if you don't have the account with the Norton you should click on this create a new account and fill all the details which is your email and create the password your first name your last name your mobile number and the country and then click on here create an account and then after it will give you option to enter your product key so enter the product key and you can just update the billing information and you can proceed further with the activation of your product key that means this is the process to redeem the product key here now as I already have an account with a Norton and I already have the product key redeemed so I will just simply type my email which is this is my email and I will type my Norton account password and will click on this sign in and this I will never do that because you can see would you like to save this password no as a as a computer expert I will never suggest to save your any account password in the browser because this is not safe your password can be revealed by any third party you know the website or let's suppose if, you are, if someone is getting access to your laptop then he can simply go in uh, the password section and see your accounts password so I would never suggest to save your password in the browser so I will click on this not now now here when I entered my email and password it's giving me two different options either I can download or I can enter the new product key that means if you have got the product key simply click on this enter new product key and enter the 25 character key here and click on this arrow icon and it will activate your product key you will have to just accept the term and condition and that's all as I already have the Norton subscription so I will go to this uh, my subscription option and here as you can see I have Norton 360 premium and uh, I have license for three device so the two of them is already downloaded it's already used so I will click on download option to use the third license key on this system now here as you can see it's coming up with agree and download so I will click on this and it may ask okay now as you can see 
<coughs> it's downloading here on the top in some cases it may ask you to allow for the download so just simply allow that and here as you can see I will click on this downloads option and as you can see it's downloading the setup and uh, four seconds is still remaining because this is 8.4 megabyte file and almost 7 megabyte is already uh, 8 megabyte is already downloaded so here as you can see guys the file uh, the setup of Norton 360 is already downloaded so I will make a double click on this icon on this setup and now as you can see it's asking install Norton 360 is an app downloaded from the internet so that's true because I have downloaded from the Norton website it's not downloaded from the App Store so it's asking for the permission whether you want to open it or not so just simply go ahead and click on this open option once you click on, on the open option you get this Norton setup page the Norton setup icon and where you can see it's simply giving you an option to install so I will just simply click on this install option and now as you can see installing device security and it's downloading the package that means it's downloading the resources to install in my system now <coughs> it might take time here because as you can see uh, there is a process of in total three so this is the only the first process so let the download to be complete let the Norton download its all sources file and uh, once the download will complete we will proceed further with the uh, installation part so here as you can see this is the third of third is going on in the bottom so I hope it will complete very soon here and guys if you have any query if you have any question to ask just simply write in the comment section and I will be there to answer now here as you can see in order to install this Norton setup in my system it's asking for the permission and it's asking to enter the computer password if you're owner of your computer that means if you're an administrator of your computer just simply enter the password and click on install helper if you don't know the password that means if you're not the administrator then <coughs> you will have to ask for the password of for the uh, from the person who is who's the owner of the computer here now here as you can see I entered the password and clicked on install helper and now you can see it's installing the program here so installation might take time and make sure this is the first process of installation after installation it will ask you to restart your computer I will show you that it will ask you to restart your computer and uh, there you will have to make sure that while restarting your computer all the all the programs or the apps you have opened in your uh, system that should be closed before restarting the system so here as you can see it's installing the package 3 of 3 that means it's about to complete here now great now here you can see <coughs> installation is successful please restart your computer to activate your protection you are not protected until you do so so I will restart the system but re before restarting system I will close everything so guys I will have to close the recording also so I'm going to stop the recording and will restart the system and will resume the video uh, once the system will restart so stay tuned guys hi guys welcome back to the recording here now uh, now when you restart the computer uh, after uh, you know when you press on the restart button and when you restart your system it will come up like this here you can see what you have to do when you restart the system wait for some time and the Norton screen will automatically will come up on the screen and it will give you the instruction uh, to configure your Norton here now you can read here what screen I have got allow system extension to install system extension grant your permission in the security and privacy preferences 
Now here click the lock icon and follow the instructions provided. So what I will do here when I restart the system first step I will do is to click on this open preferences and here it's giving me that system extension is blocked. The program Norton 360 try to load new system extension. If you want to enable these extensions, open security and privacy system in the system preferences. So I will click on this open system preferences and here down below you can see system software from application Norton 360 was blocked from loading. So I will have to click on this allow option. But as you can see, it's not highlighted here. So in order to make it highlighted, I will have to click on this lock uh, on the lock to make the changes. Once I click on this lock, it will ask you to enter the password of your system again. I will enter the password and I will simply click on this allow option. Now once I allow this, I will again click on the lock icon and will close this box. Now that process is done so I will click on this continue and then I will click on the continue again and I will click on this allow. You can see it's asking for the permission. Now here that process is completed. Now we will have to allow for full disk access. So we'll click on this open system preferences again and now what we need to do here is in the accessibility as you can see we will have to check this Norton 360 and Norton system extension. So again it's not highlighted here. So in order to check these two options I will have to click on this lock sign again and we'll have to enter the password and click on this unlock and I will check both two options for the Norton 360 and Norton system extension. So I will do one thing at the left side as you can see location, contacts, calendars, reminders, every option is coming up. So I will just go ahead and check every options one by one and will make sure that it's ticked everywhere. As you can see it's ticked in files and folders also. So yes I think it's ticked everywhere. So I will again just go ahead and click on this lock icon and will close this icon box. So as all the process are completed, so I will just click on this con complete option. Now you can see it's connecting to the Norton server and it's communicating with the Norton server. So guys, as you can see, when I installed and I completed all the process, it's asking me again to enter the product key which is the 25 digit code. So where will I get the product key? I will just simply go ahead and uh, log into my Norton account which is norton.com forward slash setup and guys this is also a mandatory part. The Safari safe web I mean the Norton safe web extension must need to be configured uh, with the Norton so that you should have the online protection also so I will click on this download option before proceeding further before entering the product key let's get started with this Norton safe web also so I will click on this get and will click on this install option it may ask you for the iTunes password that means your Apple ID password Yes, as you can see, it's asking for the Apple ID and uh, then the password. I will enter the password and click on this get option. Now it will start downloading the Norton Safe Web Plus. Let me explain you what is Norton Safe Web Plus. You can read here how it protect your information. Let me scroll down a little bit and you can just read here what exactly the Norton safe wave and how it does protect your uh, online activities. So basically you can see it's monitor here you can see Norton safe wave works with Safari to warn you of visiting potential dangerous website.
to help protect from malicious activity so yes personally i have been using norton from last almost 3 years and i felt that the norton safe web is a very good for your browser it secures your activities so after downloading i will click on this open option and uh, once i click on this open option it will give you an icon where you can go ahead and set up so click on setup and then it will give you next option where you need to click on this open safari preferences and now here you have two options to allow if you want you can continue with only norton safe web so i'm going to turn on the norton safe web if you want to use the norton password manager then you can go ahead and use the norton password manager but i don't want to use the norton password manager so i will continue only with the norton safe web so when i selected the norton safe web you can see it's enabled but the norton password manager is disabled so i will skip this part because i don't want the norton safe i mean the norton password manager so i will simply click on this part and will click on will simply close because it's already done now i will close this app store also so let me come back to the same uh, step where it it was asking to enter the product key i will again log in go to the browser and log in to the norton account and once i log in to my norton account i will look for the product key i will i will explain you i will guide you how to get the product key so first step is to just simply log in into your account by entering your email and password and again not now i don't want to save the password and uh, once you log in to your norton account you will get this screen so close and uh, go to from the norton when you click on this norton when you scroll your mouse to the norton icon it will give you my subscription option so click on this my subscription and uh, here you can see norton 360 so just below the licenses you will see the key here so just select the complete key and copy the key from here and just simply go ahead and paste the same key here as you can see and 